It's highlighting the bottom of my nose and it's making my nose look like Squidward. It's fine. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Alexandra Anele. You can call me Alex. So today I am going to be sitting down and playing with a bunch of products, creating this New Year's Eve makeup look. Basically it. it's gonna be a long one. So if you want a two minute video, bow out now, man head on out because that ain't happening here. Uh, we're going through the whole face. I'm going to show you literally everything. Nothing is getting cut out. I'm showing you base, color correction, contour, brows, lips, eyes, everything. So uh, buckle on up. Who says that? I feel like there were so many things that I wanted to say at the beginning of this video and I've forgotten what they are now. I guess that's it. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. I hope you have an amazing New Year's Eve. Yeah, I'm filming this way ahead of time. So I'm currently like getting ready in the next couple days to go home and visit my family for Christmas. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I know I sound it. So I'm like super, I'm like, I'm really, I'm super excited to spend time with my family in my hometown. Can't wait. All right guys, so if you wanna see how I created this entire face that I have on right now, Keep watching. Oh my God, okay. Are we going? <sighs> Man, this is gonna be a long one. Um, I'm gonna do our whole face. I'm kind of excited. I'm gonna start off by priming my face. I have moisturizer on, but I just wanna be like hydrated. You know what I mean? So I think I'm gonna do a little mixture. I'm gonna use the Glossier Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This is SPF 35. And I think I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of their uh, priming rich moisturizer. I love this. If you watched my how to conceal uh, or concealing, wait, what was it? Best concealers for something. Um, I used that to prime underneath my eyes and it was like amazing. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and that I just, I took too much. That, and I'm gonna put, <laughs> this is way too much. I'm gonna use it like on my ears and on the back of my neck so that I'm, you know, protecting everything from the sun. I haven't done a full, like a full face tutorial in a really long time um, just because they're so long and I take forever to do my makeup like I really take I like to if it's like a special event like say it's New Year's Eve um, or if it's just for like a um, like event makeup or something I want to allot myself at least three hours you know just because I don't want to be rushed I want to take my time it always turns out best when I do that and also you know I want time to be able to like check it out I got to take photos <laughs> Come on, that's what we do here. I'm a little worried because I have a mic on, like a, what is this, a lav mic, and it's clipped to right here, and these sequins make a lot of noise. So I'm a little bit worried that it's gonna make a lot of noise. Um, so, sorry, because there's really nothing that we can do about it right now, you know? Gotta wear the top. <laughs> All right, settle down. So I have, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, if you don't follow me on Instagram, and I don't know if I mentioned it, I think I do mention it in one of my like most recent videos, but um, I injured my knee. And uh, I have just been bedridden, like literally could not walk, been on crutches, and uh, I'm so bored. <laughs> so I was like, this is gonna be a long video because I'm gonna be real chatty. Um, okay, so we've primed our face. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Tatcha Silk Canvas. So all the people who were like giving me shit for not knowing who Tati, Tati, I'm, I, feel, I feel like I never say her name right. I wanna say Tati. That's not cute. So I obviously all after that video, like I know I knew who she was, but I didn't know anything about her. Um, I wasn't subscribed to her or anything. Um, I actually think that I discovered who she was because Desi mentioned her in a video like way back. And I was like, who the fuck is this person? So anyway, I've been checking out her videos and in one of them, she used the Tatcha Silk Priming Canvas or whatever the fuck this is called. And I've always wanted to try it out. Um, and she had really good things to say about it. So I was like, mm, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna give it a shot finally. So anyway, I'm just, I took a little bit of that out with my nail. And then I'm gonna focus it in the area where I have pores, basically. So this whole area, and then it's basically the center of my face. <gasps> I haven't used this with the other two. So like, this could all go to shit. See, this is like my problem in my other video. I don't know if you guys saw it, but someone was like, your looks take more than two tries to perfect. And I was like, <laughs> I literally don't practice anything. So like right now, I sort of have an, I have an idea of products that I wanna use. I have an idea of what I want to do, but like I haven't done it, you know, like <laughs> where's the fun in that? I think everything should be for the first time, right? This video is literally going to be like an hour long. <sighs> so all the people out there who complain about how long my videos are, bow out now. Just go, just bow out now. Um, all right, so I'm going to start off by 
color correcting under my eyes. We're gonna be doing our skin first because this isn't going to be one of those like crazy pigmented or um, loose glitter kind of tutorials. We're not doing that. So uh, we're keeping, it's gonna be chic as fuck. I guess put on myself a little bit there. And uh, it's gonna be wearable. Like you're gonna be able to actually wear this for New Year's Eve. That's the, that's the goal for right now. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm gonna color correct using my Ben Nye Cover All Wheel. And also someone said um, I don't hold the products up long enough. Everything is always listed in the description. So if I mention something, it's down there, trust me. And I try to, men I try to do them in like the order that I use them also. I can't open it. So I'm just taking the peachy shade that you guys saw in that video. And if you didn't see it, you should go watch it. I'm gonna use this to add a little warmth under my eye. It always looks so different on my monitor, so like, I just like never know how anything is gonna look until I actually watch the footage back. The reason that I'm filming this right now, I wasn't even going to film a New Year's Eve tutorial, but I, I've, I've been so bored, I've been bedridden, so I've literally edited everything that I had. And I was like, I have nothing to do today and tomorrow. So, um, and then we have a long plane ride for the holidays, I'm going to New Hampshire to visit my family. So I figured I could just edit on the plane. Um, all right, so I'm gonna blend that out using my little Delium Tools brush and I go into detail about these brushes in that video where I like talk about color corrector so I don't know I'll probably like pop it somewhere in a card or it'll be linked be below or something so we're dragging we're patting and dragging it downward so it doesn't get all up in my creases one of the reasons that I don't like filming myself getting ready for things is because I love to put like a podcast on and listen to it it's actually really difficult for me to do talk throughs because the shit takes like effort and work so when I'm like doing my makeup, I wanna be fully concentrated on it. And it can be really hard to like talk through it. All right, so now that we've brightened up under there, before I do my concealer, I go in with foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus. This is in the shade Fair, so it's 10Y. So I like to do that first and then I'll just start building it up. And I think this is the Huda Beauty sponge that I'm using. So a lot of you were also asking me if you could see a video where I talk about like foundations that work for all light olive skin because I got so many people being like, oh my God, I have that problem too. Like it's so hard to find things that match. So I am going to be doing a video about that. I'm also going to be telling you, giving you like a little trick that will help you um, find something that like will make most foundations work for you. Stay tuned for that. It's gonna be very informative. It's gonna be yet another long video. So I usually do like two pumps total, I think. So I, when I do my makeup, I prefer doing my, my skin first, my skin, my face. Yeah, my face first, just because I feel like everything looks so much more seamless when I do that. But it can be really hard when you're using like a black shadow or like a, uh, just a lot of dark shimmer or something. I don't really like using a ton of powder on my face, but I feel like I have to when I do like crazy dark looks and I do my skin first, because I'm not a fan of baking. I don't really like doing it. So I've had a few requests, uh, requests, I've had a few, what am I saying? I've had a few requests from people asking me to do um, a tutorial where I have no cuts, like no edits at all. If that's something that you would be interested in, let me know in the comments down below, because I will totally do it. But like, just know that it'll be like three hours long because it takes me forever to do my makeup. Yeah, I definitely feel like you can hear <laughs> the stupid top moving. Maybe I should have waited and put it on at the end. Um, okay, so for my concealer, I'm gonna use Too Faced Born This Way in Swan, because I wanna be real glam. So I'm using my light, this light concealer, because I wanna be sculpted. So I really like that area to be super light. To kind of bring this forward. There's a hair on my eye, obviously concealing underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in and blend that out with my LC Cosmetics Velvet Sponge, the pointy one. And I like to keep it like very concentrated in the area that I put it. I'm gonna kind of like just blend it like that. And then like, okay, so I really want that area to be like nice and highlighted. And then I'm gonna take my foundation sponge and just blend here so that I'm not, so that I'm like blending out the edges but I'm not taking it up too high. This concealer is really, really light. But like, don't be alarmed. Or do, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I look like such a ghost. All right, so now um, I'm gonna go in with the other, this side, the angled side of my Huda sponge, and I'm gonna pick up any extra, because I feel like I put a lot down. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is go in with my, <laughs> I can't even look at my face. I'm gonna go in with my KKW Beauty contour sticks. I'm gonna be using light, medium, and medium. 
I use light medium to contour because it's a cooler color and then I use medium to bronze. So I'm picking it up on this Morphe brush right here, this tiny like whatever, however you would describe this brush. And I'm gonna do my jawline first. And I like to kind of give myself a double chin. This is, I don't wanna keep hitting my mic. This is very necessary for me right now since I haven't been able to work out in months. And also frozen yogurt. So with all of these products, I like to kind of like place it down where I want it first and then blend out. So don't be alarmed. I have such a weirdly shaped jaw on the side. So like it makes it so much harder. Yeah, well, when I injured my knee, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to work out. So like, I have to be really careful about what I'm eating. Did that happen? <laughs> Absolutely not. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my cheekbones. So I like to put it like right in there and then blend up, up and out. All right, now I'm gonna contour my nose and my lips. Those are two um, important videos. First, I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna be using this tiny little Morphe brush. I have to stop using these Morphe brushes that have no name. <laughs> Super cute, right? Oh, my contacts are so old and they're drying out really badly. All right, we're coming back to light medium in a second. But first I'm gonna blend this crazy thing on my face out. And I use that same little Delium Tools brush. Where the fuck did it go? It's just this little angled brush. And what I've been doing is using this to kind of like blend around the edges of the contour and the highlight. So I'm just kind of patting around that to soften it and create a little bit of an ombre effect. Before I go in with my bronzer, I just want to do a, like an, an initial filling of my brows. So I wanna go in with like a blonde pencil. All my blonde pencils have been breaking lately though. So I think I'm gonna use Blonde by Maybelline, the ultra slim brow pencil. Basically do kind of a shaping, initial shaping. I'm keeping it super duper light. I like to use this to like do like a very, really basic fill. And then um, maybe I'll go in with a little bit of concealer and kind of like clean it up. But for the most part, I'm just like really lightly filling them in and then uh, brushing it out. And then I'll clean up with concealer just so that I have like the shape, especially I like to extend the tail. So this is really good for that. It's so hard to get them even. Obviously do your brows however you like want them to look, you know? I'm extra when it comes to my brows, especially if I'm doing like a full glam look. So I'm just gonna brush that out. A lot of you guys ask me how to grow your brows. I over plucked my brows like crazy as well in middle school and high school. And then when I reached college, I just literally like fluffy brows were kind of coming back into style and I just stopped plucking them completely. So just don't touch them, <laughs> just leave them be. And hopefully they will come back if you haven't done too much damage. All right, so now using my Hank and Henry Anna brush, um, I need a little bit of concealer. I don't want to use Swan though; that's too colorful. Or too, it's too colorful. Uh, I'm gonna go in with my foundation, the whatever I just used, and just a teeny little bit. I love this brush because it covers so much ground. Um, and then I'm gonna clean up this edge, mostly like by the tail, just so that's nice and sharp. And I'm probably gonna leave the top. It's the top of the brow. I don't want that to look all sculpted. Such a good brush, by the way. You guys need to hang out, hang out. You should hang out with Hank and Henry. Um, you should though. You should uh, check out Hank and Henry Beauty. So now I'm gonna go in and do some bronzing. I'm gonna be using, no wait, this is light medium. Come, I gotta come back to that. This is medium from KKW Beauty. And I'm actually gonna be using the same little, same little brush, where my little brush go? Why do I, I'm always losing my, oh, here it is. I found it. So same kind of deal, picking it up on the brush. I like to kind of focus it like right here on my forehead. <laughs> and <laughs> gross and then uh, I'll drag it downward so obviously like if you have breakouts that you're trying not to reveal make sure you do more of a padding motion I'll do kind of like a padding and dragging motion depends on like the state of my skin it looks like diarrhea on my fucking forehead right now does it not but like it's just so pretty it's like the most beautiful cream contour color Buffing motions, drag it down to my temples. This is why I do my brows first. In case I wanted to put like a concealer up here, I just, you know, wanna make sure everything is looking blended. So now I'm dragging it, making sure not to touch my, too much of my hairline. <laughs> you know, platinum problems. I'm actually, I have to get it done uh, Saturday. Today's Thursday. So I'm actually filming this Thursday the 19th. 
I have so many videos scheduled. I'm like so on top of it. It turns out when you like injure yourself and you can't move, can't cook for yourself or do any of, or clean or do any of those things, you can be very productive <laughs> when it comes to YouTube. So I've just basically been like in my bed with a laptop. However, as far as cleaning, this apartment has gone to shit. So I got a lot of work to do in the next couple of days. I am walking again, so that's nice. But like when I say walking, I mean hobbling. And most of the time I need crutches, so that's cool. So now I'm gonna pick it up again. I've been doing things slightly differently. I'm kind of like putting it right where I contoured. So I have like the cool contour color and then I use my bronzer right here. Like I'm kind of just going over where I bronze. I don't know, maybe it's repetitive. I really like the colors. I probably don't need to use two colors, but uh, I did. So I'm not really bringing it up super high. I used to kind of go all over my like cheek, but I don't do that anymore. Now I do it more with blush. Then I'll kind of like drag the bronzer to the apples of my cheeks, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I'm just switching things up. And then I focus, I used to focus my bronzer like up here. Now I focus my blush up there. We're trying different things and I've been liking it a lot more. It all depends on the shape of your face. So this whole area is getting nice and warmed up. Um, I did quickly want to just say thank you to everyone because I feel like there's been like a really great response to most of the videos that I've been filming and I just appreciate it. Like I've been receiving just a lot of like really encouraging comments, people saying that like things are really working for them, like techniques that I've shared. So that's just awesome. I've been trying to do my best getting pe back to people. Um, so if I don't respond to you, I apologize, but uh, I think I've been doing a pretty good job. My nose contour is like very intense, but honestly, I'm gonna just leave it. So we're doing something a little bit differently with the eyes. Rather than going in with like eyeshadow, um, I'm gonna do the majority of my like contouring with the KKW Beauty Contour Stick in light medium because I wanna keep the eyeshadow very simple and mostly what I wanna use on the lid is gonna be like very shimmery. Yeah, we might go in with like a little bit of powder bronzer to set it and everything, but um, right now I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna use that same brush that I used to contour my nose and I'm gonna run it along my lower lash line. I'm removing some of my um, concealer, but I was going with a second layer, so I'm not really worried about it right now. So this is gonna just look way more natural because it also ties in our contour colors and everything. So the reason that I'm filming this video, I'm, f I'm doing my makeup like this and I'm filming it like this. This is how I would do my makeup for New Year's Eve. This is exactly what I would do. Cause sometimes, you know, I get tempted to create these videos where I'm doing like the most and I know they're fun to, to look at, you know, like the looks are really pretty, but I just wanted to share with you guys like something that's gonna be wearable. that's gonna be like really glam and just like fabulous. So now literally all my brushes are dirty. So much fun. Um. Oh, my brushes are dirty. My fucking brushes are dirty. Let's, yeah, let's use a little more from Hank and Henry because I'm just obsessed with his brushes. They're also so cute. Just love them. This is Dell, D-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. So I'm gonna pick up this. Might actually be a little bit too big. So I'm going to use this to kind of like create my contour color. These are really nice because they're synthetic. So you can actually use them with um, creams like cream, blending out cream eyeshadows, just creams in general. So I'm connecting it to like where my nose contour begins, right in the inner part of my eyebrow, and then blending it out. Isn't that so pretty? It's just like very natural looking. No primer necessary. This is kind of like our primer. And then we're sort of gonna cut the crease, which I know is something that I like never do when I always talk about how I hate it. So just keep in mind how you contour, how you like your eyes to be contoured. Um, if you have very small eyelids, you don't have as much real estate as me and you want to wear something kind of similar, I would darken the area on your brow bone, like right below your brow, but then on your lid, just do something super shimmery and make it a little messy, you know, like pat it up to like that point of your, of your brow bone because you're obviously gonna get a little bit of transfer or whatever. So that's really fun, I like doing that. Now, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the Anastasia Eye Primer. I'm actually gonna be using this to cut the crease, sort of. First, I'm gonna just blend and pat this out. So it's, I just wanna make sure there isn't like too much um, moisture on my lid. And then using a flat brush. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is ColourPop. I thought it was another Hank and Henry brush, I got excited. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop E4 
flat brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Anastasia light primer on the back of my hand, pick a tiny bit of this up, and then I'm gonna go like above where my crease is. So like, I'm gonna look straight into the mirror and then kind of place it like that. And then I'm gonna drag it down. Yeah, it's so funny because like what I'm doing right now, I'm like, I'm talking you through it, but I'm just deciding right before I do it. <laughs> like I just decided to do that. That was not part of the plan because there was no plan. Personally, I think the best makeup looks happen when I have absolutely no plan. The shape just looks really nice. And I kind of like having it um, come out a little bit more in here. I don't know why. Okay, so the shape isn't exact, but I feel like it's so close. I like did a really good job making it close. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go in with another little um, amount of concealer, and then I'm gonna set my face. And to set underneath my eyes, I'm using the LC Cosmetics Light Medium Set, oh, what is this called? Translucent Powder. So just another little right in here. So I like to have the powder ready on my brush before I start blending. So this is basically like I just really want to conceal this area, like right in there. <laughs> so I'm taking that powder a little bit up onto my lash line, just to kind of like set that area, since we did put a cream down. I'm really hoping that it's sunny today because I really want to take photos in the direct sunlight <laughs> of this makeup. The weather here has been screwing me lately. I, I used to try to look cute when I would set my under eye. But like, what the fuck is that point? You know what I mean? Like, why? I gotta do that to get the creasing out. All right, now before I set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a cream blush because I really love layering cream blushes and powder blushes. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beach Stick. This is in Moon Beach. It's like this really pretty um, kind of corally shade with like a gold reflect. It's really, really flattering. And I like to apply this with my Morphe M405 brush, just like this little angled brush. So I do kind of the same thing that I did with the bronzers. I like to pick it up by like this motion. And then where I place my blush, I start up here on my cheekbone. So that's where I like the most pigment. And I just kind of tap, tap and roll. And then I'll bring it up like to my temple. So I like to focus majority of the color in that area. And then I'll kind of bring it down a little bit, slightly down into my contour. I just want like all of this to look seamless. And then I'll use a slightly lighter hand as I get to like this area. So I don't want, I'm trying to blend, but I don't want like a lot of pigment down there. So the majority of the color is going really high up on my cheekbone. So it looks like very light on camera right now. It's just like, super natural and pretty. This is really great for every day, but applying this before like a powder blush is really going to help it last really long. Also, I find that laying, layering products, like layering light amounts of product, it really just kind of like creates a very three-dimensional look and it just helps your skin look less like flat. Um, okay, so I'm going to set some areas of my face. I kind of want to leave like others, like the outer perimeter of my face without being set. Uh, so for like, just my forehead and then like the center of my face, kind of like areas that I really want to last. I'm gonna use the Kylie Cosmetics Translucent Powder and I'm gonna apply that using my Huda sponge. I'm just gonna pick it up. And then like in this area, I like to set right in here. And then I'm just gonna tap lightly. I'm gonna focus it in the area where I want it. And then I'm gonna lightly tap it into like the rest of my skin. So you don't just see like a matte area and then like a super shiny area. Um, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for my nose. So I like to use it to like set the product, but also I wanna get rid of any of the areas that are like super shiny, except for like the tip. So I'm just gonna kind of like roll this over. So before I do the lid, which I'm like super excited about, I am going to do a little bit more of the contouring, um, like just in the areas where I placed that KKW Beauty Cream. And I'm gonna be using the Dior Dior Backstage Contour Palette. This is in Universal One. 
So I'm gonna be using the, the light contour shade right here. This is such a beautiful contour color. I'm gonna be basically using like just a tiny amount of that. This is kind of just going to like set those areas. So first I'm going into my lower lash line. I'm using the same brush and I'm just gonna buff over where we put that color. And then where it gets to like my creases, I'm just gonna pat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for the lid, but I'm gonna use a slightly smaller brush. So this is the Wayne Goss number 18 brush. Somebody told me I was saying that wrong. Wayne Goss. Like, am I just saying it weird? Wayne Goss? I have a little bit of a lisp when I say S's. So anyway, I'm just picking that up on this brush on the tip, and then I'm going to do the same thing up here. I love this technique because it doesn't make this, this whole area, like even though we have a cut crease going right now, this whole area doesn't look like eyeshadow. You know what I mean? Because it's like we put a cream down and then we're doing a really light amount. So it doesn't look powdery at all. This is a really nice technique if you wanna create like a really natural natural looking smoky eye. Like use a color that's like, sort of like this in relation to your skin, you know? Com try to compare it to like mine. And then layer like the cream and the powder and they just work so beautifully together. This combination is just like the perfect contour color for me. All right, now for the lid, um, I'm super excited. I'm gonna be using this like glitter topper, but uh, for the actual lid color, I need to put down some kind of a like shimmery eyeshadow, just to kind of like ground it, because you wanna make sure that when you're like turning and the glitter isn't being hit directly by the sun or like light or anything, that it doesn't look all like patchy and uneven. So I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. This is such a fantastic neutrals palette. First of all, I love the packaging. Like I just think it's absolutely beautiful. It's honestly, it's been a very long time since I've opened up a neutrals palette and been like, oh, fuck yeah. But like, I feel like when I look at this, it has everything that I need. Like every single color that I want in a neutrals palette is here. I'm obsessed, I think it's fantastic. So anyway, I'm going to go in with, I think Silk Teddy, I'm trying to decide between that and Rumored. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put, oh God, it's so hard. I feel like this isn't light enough. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, oh, or maybe that one. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with Silk Teddy, which actually has like kind of a little bit of pink in it, but I feel like that will, I, you, can't, you can't see that, but it's got, oh, maybe right there. It's got a little bit of a pink shift, um, slightly warm, a little bit like silvery, uh, and I think it might tie together like the lips and the blush and everything. So I'm gonna start off by applying it with my finger. I need to get real detailed. So I'm just gonna blend out the, this like little creasing that I have right here. Pat. Like on the lower part of my lid to begin with. Ooh, that's very pretty. Love it. All right, so I'm gonna use that flat brush that we used to put down the whatever and then pick this up. And then I'm going to, oh, this is such a good brush. And then I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna spritz it. I'm gonna use the Glow Recipe, I almost said Glossier, Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. Bomb, but like super dewy, so be cautious. I'm gonna start off by patting, patting and dragging down. Are you guys so excited for the holidays? I honestly feel like Christmas is over. <laughs> I've had, Christmas lights up for a really long time and I've like stopped turning them on, but I'm like super excited to spend it with family. That's so fucking gorgeous. Like, holy shit. This is a great brush. What is this? E4 ColourPop? Love it. So here's the thing. I wanna deep, I wanna kind of like create a little bit of a more dimension in it. So I think I'm gonna grab Rumored, which is a little darker, a little more silvery. It's this color right here. And then I'm gonna use it on the outer corner. You, this might not make any difference at all, but I just kind of feel like, I don't know, maybe it'll do something. This is probably completely unnecessary. See, I feel like I can see it. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing on like the very inner, like right in here. That is just so fantastic and beautiful. Um, all right, so now I kind of want to deepen up the like, I'm gonna grab a really tiny blending brush. I'm gonna use this one from Morphe, once again, one of the ones that has no name. Fantastic, love it. And I'm gonna grab my little contour color again, the Dior one. And I'm gonna have it be, I just want it to be a little bit more concentrated. And I'm going to deepen up this area right here. I just want like a little bit more de definition, dimension, definition. So what are you guys doing for the holidays? Wait, when is this going up? This is going up after Christmas, Never mind. 
So what do you guys do for the holidays? <laughs> Again, I'm obviously pre-filming this, but we're going to New York first to visit my boyfriend's family. And then we're going to New Hampshire to see mine. And then I'm gonna grab a little more of that and I'm gonna kind of like just blend around here because I don't wanna do a winged liner. I just wanna like, I'm gonna kind of pat this out as if it just ends. So I'm just patting over that shimmer so that it just kind of like starts to like look like it dissipates. That is so pretty. I'm loving this right now. All right, for the lid. Yay, for the center of the lid. Okay, so for the center, very center of the lid, I'm so excited to use this product. I bought this forever ago, literally with New Year's Eve in mind. And uh, I have not used it because I wanted to save it for this. So this is Midnight Cow, I think it's Midnight Cowboy, but it's come off a little bit. This is the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner from Urban Decay. And what I'm gonna, what I like about this is that it's in like a, gel that dries so it will set rather than using a loose glitter and worrying about like just applying it when you have your face makeup on or just like it falling off in the middle of the like throughout the night you know you get drunk whatever you've got glitter all over the place you're hugging people there's glitter on them now you don't want that so i'm going to and you know what i like about this color also is that it's got a little bit of gold and also silver in it so we have a lot of different tones happening right now <laughs> all neutrals um, so it is like a liner, so you can use it as just like a winged liner if you want, but I'm gonna use it to, now I wanna look down, I'm gonna move my mirror. I wanna look down into a mirror, keep my lids as flat as possible, and I'm gonna place it in the center of my lid. And I'm gonna keep looking down while it dries. I'm kinda just like patting it. So it's gonna create like just a super metallic metal finish like right in the center. All right, so now we have the glitter just like set on the lids and now we don't have to worry about it all coming off. And it looks so pretty, just adds like a little bit more pop and dimension to the eyeshadow. I'm debating running a little bit of this right around that line. I think I'm gonna do it, fuck it. So I'm gonna take, <laughs> This is what I mean when I say I, I don't plan things. So I'm gonna take this liner and rather, I'm not gonna run it along all of that line. I'm gonna do it right in the center. Wish me luck. Okay, keep it, keep it like this. <sighs> don't breathe or move. Don't breathe or move, don't breathe or move, don't breathe or move. Wow, I'm so in love with this eye look. You have absolutely no idea. I don't want to take this off all day. <laughs> okay, so um, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of a powder blush to kind of set the blush that I have. I pretty much always use Kylie Cosmetics Crush. It's just like such a perfect natural looking shade. It's not too corally, it's not too neutral, it's not too pink, it's just very natural looking. So I'm gonna use that and I'm going to apply that with whatever brush this is. So I'm using a very light amount. And again, kind of the same like technique, focusing the pigment where I want the most color and then slowly tapping and blending it out. And remember, you wanna use a tapping motion because I haven't set the outer perimeter of my face. So I don't want to remove any product. All right, and then for a little bit more dimension and glow, before I go in with my highlight, um, I like to use kind of like a shimmery bronze topper. It's more of a highlighter, but it's very soft. It's from Bare Minerals. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's right here. So this palette is called the Stellar Glow Palette. Um, and it's got all these little highlights and they're all so like just natural and lightweight. Um, and I like using this one, which obviously looks kind of light, but I use it as a bronze, like a bronzer topper because it's super lightweight and it just adds like a really like fine amount of like just health youthful glow before I go in with my concealer. And by concealer, I mean highlight. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I like to apply that with the Morphe M510 brush. What I do is I kind of like dust it like sun-kissed areas. So like this is where like, you know, my, my skin would kind of like glow from being hit by the sun. So it doesn't really add like a whole lot of extra color. It's just a little bit of a, like a warm glow. And this kind of set helps to set that bronzer shade without looking powdery. And then I kind of like to do the same thing like in my contour. So I'll take it like down where I place my contour color and then kind of like push it up into my blush. Obviously if you have, you know, texture there, doing this is gonna bring a little bit more attention to it. And then for my highlight, I mean, I wanna go in. It's New Year's Eve. 
in theory, in, uh, in, uh, in spirit. So I'm gonna use Coco Bling by Artist Couture. This is such a fantastic highlight, loose highlight color. It can get messy because it is loose. So I'm going to apply this to everywhere. My brow bone, inner corner, tip of my nose, my cheekbones, everything. Let's start off with the uh, brow bone though. I'm using this little flat brush. This is from Morphe. It's the M205. I love this little brush. It's fantastic. I might actually use it for my inner corner as well. So I'm just picking up a little bit. Using a brush like this, it's gonna really pack it on, is going to prevent a lot of it from kind of like going everywhere, but you can also spritz it. But like, are you fucking kidding me? Ooh, I haven't worn a beaming highlight in such a long time. Like, are you kidding me though? Yeah, dude, Artist Couture, man. I haven't used this in so long. They're so good. I honestly can't think of any other like highlight that I would want to wear on uh, New Year's Eve. Pretty. I'm gonna use the same little brush for my inner corner and I am going to spritz it. So I'm kind of like packing it on the tip and then I'm gonna use that same Glow Recipe mist. One little mist and then I'm gonna place it on my inner corner. Woo! And I'm going to tap and blend into my eyeshadow. I like to take it on like the side of my nose and focus it here so that as you turn, you're catching the light like no matter where, no matter which way you're facing. Such a little cutie. And then I'm applying it to my cheekbones using the Wayne Goss. Why does this not have a number on it? Oh, I don't know, but it's like kind of like a flat powdery brush. Fuck yes. All right, I'm gonna hit myself with some. I'm gonna hit myself with some setting spray, mostly just in this area. Um, using again the Glow Recipe spray. Now I'm gonna brush up my brows using some soap. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute before I go and finish filling them in. So I use the Dr. Bronner's soap. I keep it in a little bag. It's kind of gross. It's just a bar of soap, and I like to just. Like I'll use a setting mist just to spritz it. You can use water, it doesn't matter. Um, and then the spoolie, the spoolie that I use is the Sigma Brow and Lash E80 spoolie. I like to do this after I highlight my brow bone so that I can like brush out any glittery stuff that may have gotten in there. So I just brush them up and out. Kind of like this motion. And then I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Brow Flick because it's my favorite. So now I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Brow Flick. These have changed my life. So I use a combination of blonde and brown. I'll go in with blonde first um, and just do like a little bit of filling in the areas that are sparse and then kind of like bring maybe a couple little flicks like into the areas that are a little more dense just to kind of like make sure that everything is, you know, even throughout, just slowly. And I do this really, really lightly. And I like to use this to like sharpen up the tail or extend or just kind of like even out my brows in general. I do have a brow tutorial that talks all about this. So go check that out. I just love how natural this is. And it's really good to go in with like a light color first. You can like do it really slowly. And then I'm just gonna take like little, like the tip of it, a little flicks in here that you probably won't even see, but it just kind of like runs a little bit of product. Make sure that the whole thing is uniform throughout. Then I'm going to shake it up, let product, cause I've had this for a little while, let product. So you can see like it's already looking like a little bit better. We filled in some sparse areas, but it's still like, there's some spots that still need a little bit of filling. So I'm gonna shake it up. I put this between my legs <laughs> and let that like the product come down a little bit. Now the brown one, um, if there's too much product, I like to kind of tap it on a paper towel and then using literally the tip, do the same thing and draw in individual hairs in those really spark. And I'm literally hardly touching my skin. Can't even remember like who I saw first to use this, but I was like, oh my God, I need to get that right now. And it's literally changed my life. Look at how beautiful that is. Like it's natural and full and gorgeous looking. And like, just from here, you would be like, oh my God, she has perfect eyebrows. If I do say so myself. Same thing, I'm gonna shake it up. Let that, wait a minute. Pretty, I love it. All right, what do we wanna do now? I guess we'll finish off the eyes before we go into the lips. So I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply a few quotes of a few So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna, what am I? What am I, Anna? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, curl my lashes and apply a few coats of mascara. 
That's what I'm gonna do. I just got this new um, lash curler from Velour Lashes. It's so cute. Look how pretty. It's just like rose gold color. I have a code with them as well. Um, I think it's VLSX Alex. It's like 15% off if you wanna check out Velour. They have the best lashes. I really like this lash curler actually because it's like super open. Like, I don't know, I've used Revlon and it was like so tiny. It was like for like tiny eyes. Um, and I felt like I was constantly like hitting my skin and stuff. This like stays away from my face, which is really nice. For mascara, I'm using La Roller Lash by Benefit. I just rediscovered this recently. I just really like it. <laughs> the worst mascara face in the world. So go, 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 go. So my boyfriend and I started watching Mandalorian because we like ran out of things to watch and everything is so boring. We like tried, what's that serial killer show? The one with the serial killers? I can't remember. We tried that and like the acting was really bad, except for the main serial killer dude. I can't remember what it's called. What the fuck is it? It's like on the tip of my tongue. It's really gonna bother me. But anyway, we started watching that. I really liked the main serial killer. He was great. Like he was very, very good as a serial killer. Um, but the act, like the rest of the acting is really bad. And like some of the writing was really bad to me. No offense if you're like a fan, sorry. I like that kind of thing. Like I could have kept watching it, but it just wasn't really worth it to me. Anyway, that was a rant. So we started watching Mandalorian. We were like, should we get Disney Plus? Like, is it worth it? Wait, can I just say this eye look is just like super cute with just like normal lashes. So if you don't like wearing falsies, you know, and you have lashes that actually hold a curl because mine don't, um, this would look so pretty because it's just like light. You know, it's almost kind of natural looking. If you kept the lip like super natural, like this is like so pretty, right? Love it. Anyway, I started watching Mandalorian. Oh wait, I have to do my lower lashes. I can't talk to you right now. <sighs> I can't breathe again. All right, anyway, so we started watching Mandalorian. Um, quickly, I'll just say for lashes, cause I'm gonna start putting the glue on them. We have to wait for it to get tacky. Um, I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty Hootie, which is like my go-to. They're just so fantastic. You'll see them on there perfection, like literally the most perfect lashes that I've ever used. I've repurchased them like six times. Uh, anyway, so we started watching Mandalorian, um, which like I thought the first episode was kind of lame. And honestly, like as far as Star Wars goes, I'm not like a huge fan of it or anything. I thought the newest movies were like super lame, like so boring, but I kept hearing that Mandalorian was so good. So anyway, I, th I thought the first episode was like kind of lame. It didn't really like grab me. Um, but the second episode was so good and I loved how there was like, this is strange, but there was like very little dialogue in it. Um, there was just like with the Mandalorian cause he's got like the fucking helmet on. So you can't really, like, there's like not really a connection there. Um, and then baby Yoda is as cute as everyone says. <laughs> so I'm in it for baby Yoda right now. I'm just saying I'm in it for the baby. Literally every time I film, it doesn't matter how cold it is in here. My armpits get sweaty. Oh, Z was purring so hard. Kitten, are you happy? <laughs> Can these lashes be any more perfect. Like they're literally the most perfect lashes. I love them. Like they're long, but somehow they're natural. Is that possible? All right, and then for lips, um, I'm gonna do something kind of similar to my last tutorial. I'm gonna use the, I wanna keep it like kind of natural looking so that it looks good with this, but kind of like helps to balance it out. Um, cause if I go in with some, I mean, you could do, you can do whatever you want. Cause this is still a pretty like, no, my eyelashes are sticking together. <sighs> Sorry, um, this is still a pretty neutral eye look. So I feel like you can wear absolutely any lip that you really want to, but I want to keep it like light. So I'm going to go in with Lime Crime Topist lip liner to begin with. Can you see this little hive on my lip? I just went and kissed Ziva and now I'm getting a hive. I am a little bit allergic to cats. So I'm going to slightly overline my lips and then kind of contour the sides. And then for the center of the lips, I'm going to use this Patrick Star lipstick. This is actually a collab with MAC from last Christmas. This is Peachy Peter Matte Lipstick. It's super duper light and kind of peachy. I'm just gonna run this in the center of my lip. Just to add like a little, you know what I mean? And then to top it all off, that's like pretty enough, right? That's such a pretty, I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna center up here. Such a pretty neutral lip. And this is gonna be my new favorite lipstick. So like full, but like natural. And then, cause like shimmer, shimmer, I'm gonna go in with the KKW Beauty Iridescent Gloss, which I was like struggling what lip gloss I wanted, with what lip gloss I wanted to use. I was between this and the Kylie Gloss, 
in the shade Blow Me Away because it's got like pink and gold in it, but I kind of want to tie in a little bit more of my top and I feel like this color does it because it's got like um, some pink, some gold, but also a little bit of blue. So it brings out a little bit more of the silver. Yeah, so it makes it like a little more cool toned. Pretty. All right. What was I saying? Oh, I'm done. <laughs> All right, um, cool. Uh, that was long, but fun. I love the way this came out. God damn, look at that gloss. All right, guys, so this is the finished makeup look. Does it look pretty? It's actually one of my favorite looks that I've ever done in my entire life. Is it neutral? <laughs> yeah. Yay. All right. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this look. I absolutely love, I love it. I love it. I can't stop looking at it. I wanna wear this all day. I have nowhere to go, but I love it. My building manager's coming over, so I, she's gonna watch the cats over the holidays, so I can, you know, look pretty for her. Other than that, can't really go anywhere, still on crutches, so that's fun. Um, all right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see longer videos. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing something where I sit down and do my makeup and it's completely uncut let me know. I have had a few requests, but it's going to be like 45 hours long. So, <sighs> wow. <sighs> Take a break. Take a breather. All right. We're good. Um, this top is also from Naked, not with Naked Wardrobe, from Naked. It's like N-A-K-D, Naked. Obsessed with their clothes. Love them so much. Uh, it's hard to, to get off. Difficult to get on really hard to get off. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And um, I appreciate all of the good, like all of the comments that I've been receiving lately. I just like, I appreciate it. I'm glad that these videos help you. I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy watching me do my makeup and explaining things because I enjoy teaching. It's fun. Let me know what you thought of this look in the comments down below. And uh, if you happen to recreate this look for New Year's Eve, please take photos, please post them and tag me so I can see. Um, all right guys, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Pity. Let's go take pictures. Yeah. All the just like hot chicks on TikTok who just lip sync to songs and dance. It makes me hate that I'm on this fucking app. <laughs>